I'm kind of old. True. My life's kind of boring. Also true. But I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. to do this, but we're gonna do it. Everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas number three. We are cruising right along. I'm just getting ready. I finished my morning workout. I'm gonna be so honest. I've really been slacking with my workouts lately and you know, how do I word this? Like I don't want to like paint food as good or bad, but there are foods that make me feel better or worse and I've been eating a lot of the foods that make me physically feel worse like with my SIBO and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna really try to like eat some nourishing foods and try to like, I don't know, take better care of myself overall, you know? That's been a common theme throughout the years and something that I really, really struggle with is like taking care of myself, but I'm doing my best. So anyway, today I thought we would do another sort of like, I don't know, continuation of the Christmas decorating. I promise not every Vlogmas is gonna be Christmas decorating, but also it's just really fun for me at the moment. It's like the one thing that brings me so much nostalgic joy and I love it so much. So I think I'm gonna do an orange garland today i've been planning on doing that for a while but we finally got some oranges and we've done a little bit already so we'll do some more um and then with the remainders of the oranges i want to do like a fun little simmer pot so like an apple cinnamon orange clove like really delicious simmer pot i don't think i've ever actually tried one before now that I think about it, so that'll be really good. We actually started making some paper chains over the weekend with our niece. Oh, make sure you subscribe to my aunt. Because we really want to like make this place a magical Christmas wonderland. And honestly, like I think we've gotten a pretty good head start so far. So yeah, just did my little beach waves. I use this Bedhead TG Wave Artist. And I have used this since probably 2012 or maybe sooner than that and I literally just crimp it and then I just curl my front pieces because I like the way those look better and that's literally it I get some requests to show a tutorial and I literally just take a piece and all down my hair and that's literally it I might do a little bit of this day smoothing cream or whatever it's called day cactus fruit three-in-one styling cream um this is good for a lot of different things I do my slick backs with this I tame flyaways with it and it smells so divine I love it I just feel like my hair is a little oh this was kind of too much but that's okay a little bit frizzy so we're just gonna add a little bit of it on there maybe I'll just like I don't know to find my waves a little bit more. And there we have it. All right, so it is just after 9 a.m. and we're gonna head downstairs and see what we need to do to get this whole fun DIY day started because I am on a roll and I truly can't stop. <laughs> All right, we're downstairs. We're gonna get started here in a second. I wanted to show you though, we updated our downstairs bathroom, which I think I showed in the last vlog where we bought that stuff at Target and put it in there. But over the weekend, we just kept adding to it more and more and Drew had such good ideas. He was like, I should wrap the art. Or I think his sister came over and was like, you need to thrift some like Christmas art. And Drew was like, what if we just wrapped the art that we already have in there in wrapping paper? So he did that. We also found some garland at Target. We went to Target again over the weekend. He found some garland and wrapped that around the mirror. And we also got a little Christmassy soap so it's just looking so cute here's our little Christmas bathroom tour it's kind of hard to show in this angle but we have our little thing from Target we did get some cute Christmassy towels we have 
the wrapped art. He did that one in ribbon. And then these ones are so cute. And then of course we have the fun little mirror, which is just so adorable. And then we have our little peppermint soap. We're probably gonna get like a Bath and Body Works one or something, but that'll do for now. And then we got this Christmas tree and then our same candle. How fun. Another thing I wanna do today is build a, I've seen this all over like TikTok and Instagram and I've seen it for the last few years actually, but um, we did primarily most of our Christmas shopping online this year, besides like thrifted things that we got and stuff like that. And even some of the things I thrifted online. So we wanted to build, we have quite a few packages coming over the next like few weeks. So I thought it would be a fun idea to build one of those like delivery snack carts for delivery workers. So I got all of this stuff to build that. I got a cart, I got a cute little sign, and then we're actually gonna use some of the snacks that we have that we're not using. And then I got a couple other things as well so we'll build that at some point today but starting off we're gonna do the orange garland so I've already got this little bowl that we started over the weekend and we just put these in our air fryer on like 180 but I also I also started our oven because it's not going fast enough you can only put like one orange in at a time so I have a blood orange that's in the air fryer right now I just preheated the oven to 180 and we're gonna dehydrate some more oranges because we have like a lot, a lot to go. So we're gonna put parchment paper on our sheet. And we have one blood orange here. Well, the one that's in the air fryer is also a blood orange. So we have this one and then we have this whole thing, which I don't even know if we're gonna be able to use all of it. But I also have a little pot, or a little dish, I mean, for the butts of the oranges and just like the wonky pieces. And that's what we'll use in our simmer pot here in a moment. Cut off our butts, put those in our little pot. And I mean, you could probably use a mandolin. I think I tried doing that last year and it just like didn't work out that well. So I'm just cutting these into really thin slices so that hopefully they dry out a little faster. And it's okay if a couple of them are wonky, you know? It's homemade, it's all good. So we'll just start laying these out. It is so satisfying. Here are the blood oranges that are in the air fryer now, by the way. So we're gonna keep that going for another little while. Then we'll also continue on with the regular oranges. I think these are like navel oranges or something like that. So we'll keep cruising with these till we fill up our pan. This is, this is a work of art in my opinion, but unfortunately it has to go in the oven. So, and she goes for a couple hours and then we'll flip them. Okay, while well, that's going and that's going, and you know, while we do other things in the house, I thought we would start our simmer pot. We thought we had a glass pot, but I think we donated it. So basically you're gonna put some water and a bunch of other smelly good things in here and make your house smell like Christmas heaven which I couldn't be more excited about. We're gonna take all the butts from our oranges, dump them in there. Then we have an extra apple in the fridge that we haven't eaten. And that probably is on the verge of going bad soon. So we will throw that in there. Ooh, I already see a big bruise. So it is her time to go. Fun. Okay, well, minus the bruise. <laughs> That is such a picture perfect apple piece. I love that. If you were a kid who also used to play potions in your backyard, this is really satisfying that urge. Like you'd just throw weeds and grass and whatever you could find into like a little dish and mix it with water. Yeah, that's what this is giving and I 
Love it. So, okay, I'm grabbing my cinnamon and cloves. Sprinkle a little ginger in there as well. Anything that's like aromatic, I suppose. This to me kind of feels like when you make mulled wine, except instead of boiling the wine, you're just boiling like the fruit and the things that smell good in it. I'll use these last two cinnamon sticks in this one. And like over the years, you know, Drew and I have tried mulled wine a few times and I just don't know if it's for us. Like I don't know if I love hot wine, maybe because I didn't grow up on it. So this is kind of like a good alternative to that. Okay, so we're doing some cloves. I'm gonna sprinkle a little ginger in there because why not? That's like warm and cozy. I really do feel like I'm playing potions in my backyard. <laughs> I'm so happy. Then you just fill her up with water. It is about to smell like Christmas heaven in here. Look how good that looks. I'll start off by putting a lid on it just in case, and then we will bring it to a nice little boil. And, oh, <laughs> there we go. A nice little boil and then a simmer. Also update, we got a couple, just a couple more things for the Christmas village, but we did order more. Doesn't it look so much better with the trees? Hold on, let the, let the train conductor do it. We got a tree for the middle of the village. It's like the town tree. And um, you ordered some kids playing, yeah, I like ordered, a, having a snowball fight? Yeah, but I want to. I ordered just a set because I want to make sure they're the right scale. Yeah, we got to make sure they're the right scale, of course. In case we haven't reiterated, they must be the correct Listen, scale. my miniature people and my train people will understand <laughs> What I'm talking about. A hundred percent, like I'm not judging. It's, it, if I did it, it would look terrible because everything would be mismatched. But yeah, so I think, I think truly like that TikTok that I was like jokingly talking about in Vlogmas number one, um, that guy who literally built an entire like side of his house into a Christmas village. I do think that that's going to be true in a few years time. We used to have a train that blew smoke. Aww. That went around our Christmas tree. Yeah, he said next we need a train. Drew's sister recommended that we switch it over to this one since it's like way longer. So I mean, if we end up with too much stuff, we may need a new, <laughs> a new piece of furniture for it. But I love it. It makes me so so happy. Oh, magical! Oh my god! It's starting. We definitely added some more spices. So we did more cinnamon, more clove, more ginger. Drew put a little splash of vanilla in there, cause why not? Just something cozy. And now she's gonna start really simmering for a while. I wanna like get some of this water cooked down. But so far I'm just smelling orange, probably because of the oven and the air fryer, but I'm excited. Oh yeah, waft it now. <laughs> it smells so good. It smells. Pretty much exactly like mold wine minus the wine. All right, so this little area has become like our DIY station. This is the amount of paper chain we have already. We still have all these cut pieces left and we do have all of these papers as well if we do need them. And then this is our gold card stock for when we make the star garland. If we end up doing that, I'm not 100% sure if we're still gonna do that. If not, it's fine. But I do want to at least get these pieces that are already cut into another paper chain, so we'll do that. I just realized you can see me in the mirror in the background, but that's okay. We had started doing like tape and glue, and then our niece actually had the idea to do the stapler because she said that's how they do it at school. So now we're just using the stapler because it's way, way faster. We still don't have like 100% of an idea where we wanna put this, but I will say, um, yeah, we went a little overboard and I couldn't be happier about it. So I think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be very festive, very throwback, you know, all of the things that I've been repeating throughout all of these vlogs, but that's, I just really want it to feel like a cozy Christmas wonderland. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, and in case anyone was curious, we did get another two napkins. We actually found them at Target, but they kind of look like that vintage vibe. So these were the ones that I thrifted. I washed and sanitized them, don't worry. But then we also found these. So these are like on the end. And I just think they add like a fun little mismatch vibe, but I like them. In case anyone was curious. <laughs> Shout out to my mom for giving us this stapler and the extra staples. That came in so clutch. Ta-da! Yay! 
it. So now we have another one. We'll see where we end up putting these. In the meantime, I'm gonna get a snack and we will reconvene. Okay, just had my little brekkie and now we're gonna do the cart building. Oh my God, this closet is a nightmare. We need this. This is the actual cart itself. Okay. These are some good things to go in it. So let's see what we got in here. I think it's white, yeah. I got it so that we can reuse it in the future for like laundry stuff. Okay, fun. I think you just assemble like the tiers to each other. I don't think it should be too, too complicated. But God knows. Oh, okay. It smells so strong now, huh? Got the wheels. Got the leggies. Looks pretty straightforward. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We have it, our little cart, so cute. All right, let's put some stuff on it. So for the bottom layer, probably drinks, I would imagine, is the best option. I wish that there was way a way to keep them cold, but I'm not buying like a mini fridge or anything like that, but I mean, maybe they'll have like a cup or something like that. We're gonna put these little mini water bottles. have some mini Gatorades. And my personal favorite flavor is blue. Blue Frost. This is really, really annoying. Cute. All right, layer two, we're doing chips. You never know when you might need a little bag of chips. Okay, now for the top layer, we kind of have like a mishmash of a bunch of different things. Got some fruit snacks, always a good choice. Okay. We also got some meat sticks. So those like here, maybe we'll just lay them down. We got a few peanut butter crackers and a few Reese's, oops. We got some Nature Valley granola bars. I found some extra of these Z bars. It's like another granola bar that has like a chocolate chip flavor. It's really, really good. And then a couple more Reese's and we're done. How fun is that? It looks so good. Wow. I just feel like delivery workers need more praise. They need more thanks from people, so. There we go. I also forgot I bought this little sign. It's just like, take whatever, thank you. Perfect. This is so exciting. I think this will be great. I've seen so many people do videos like this and I always wanted to, but number one, where we lived in LA before, someone probably would have just stolen the entire thing. And number two, I've always lived in apartments pretty much, except this house, so this will be great. Let's stick it outside. All right, let's take you to your new home. You can have a home right next to Buddy. <laughs> Yay! That's so fun. Dynamic duo. Love to see it. All right, it's a couple hours later. Had to take a little break and do some computer work. And now I'm about to eat my lunch. It's like one o'clock-ish. And I've been wanting to try this for so long. I've been so curious about it. And actually a few of you tagged me in the comments for this video on TikTok or sent it to me. And it's a video where someone makes a peppermint diet Coke, like a Santa inspired diet Coke. And because I have to try everything, I need to know what this is like. So we got all the ingredients. We're gonna try it out together. Basically you can watch me test this out. So you don't have to. So you need your cup with ice. You need your Diet Coke. I drink caffeine free because I have anxiety. Pour your Diet Coke in your glass. It always makes me so nervous because it always spills. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room because we are putting coffee creamer in this, which just feels so wrong, but also 
maybe like it might be good. Okay, then the real kicker for this is that you're gonna use this Chobani peppermint creamer, or this is peppermint mocha creamer. I think you just do like a little splash of it. So here goes nothing. Oh, I mean, it smells divine. I'm just gonna do like, I don't know, a little splash. Like that much? Maybe a little more. That is pretty. And then you top it off with a little bit of whipped cream because tis the season. Why I'm making this dessert <laughs> Diet Coke with my lunch is beyond me, but here we go. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, I will say. Is it good? I'm not sure. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Actually, that's not as bad as it sounds. It's kind of good. I was fully expecting to be like, ew, gross, disgusting. But like, it actually kind of slaps a little bit. I think I definitely put like way too much creamer in there. But honestly, not freaking bad. It's kind of like a root beer float. It's adjacent, I guess. I'm not mad at that. I'm really not. Like I really, really expected it to be disgusting. Do I want to drink that at the moment with my tuna fish that I'm having for lunch? No, I do not. But you know, it's pretty good. If you have the ingredients or if you're thinking about trying it, honestly, kind of worth trying. And if it sounds disgusting to you, then you got to witness me try it. And honestly, I hate it a lot less than I thought I was going to. Not too bad. I will definitely use this creamer in my coffee as well. Okay, so oranges update. I switched some things around because the oven just like wasn't baking them quickly enough for some reason, but now they're doing a lot better. But the air fryer is a way faster method in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so we have most of the oranges, most of the blood oranges are done. These need like another few minutes. And then these are all of the ones that are finished. So they're super pretty. So I'm gonna get started on making some of these into the garland. As an update, I, we turned this off for a while because it was getting super, super strong. Here's what it's looking like. It literally is like turning into applesauce, but it smells divine. So we are putting it back on now after having it off for a little bit because it was just like a bit overwhelming, but it smells so, so nice. I strongly recommend it. It is definitely potent, wowie. All right, so for some of these that are still a little bit wet, I'll put them back in the air fryer. But most of them can go in the little jar and they're done. So here we have it. Ooh, it looks so festive right here, I love it. So I've done this before, I think I did this last year, but you just take, I'm using like a, I think this is a crochet needle, just like a little plastic crochet needle. Thank God this isn't hard to string or else I wouldn't do it. That's like the thing that I hate the most about sewing. But we'll um, just tie this little twine, whatever you have, honestly, yarn would be cute. And then you just string your little oranges through it. So I'm thinking for this one, maybe like, six feet ish because i kind of want it to go over the garland that we have on the like above the kitchen window i guess it's better to start big and go from there i actually have been looking forward to this all day because i just think that there is something um maybe just with like the age of technology we're in and stuff but um like i don't do much with my hands anymore i feel like i used to always be drawing or I don't know, playing piano, or I was a big journaler back in the day. I used to journal a lot. Like, I, I just don't do anything with my hands anymore. So having little crafts like this, it's like a good reminder to slow down and just kind of, I don't know, take a beat, live your freaking life, you know? So I'm gonna do, you can obviously do whatever method works best for you, but I'm gonna do like two little holes and just string it all the way through. Hey! There's so many. I know, right? Hi. I wasn't sleeping, I was working. I was gonna say, did you enjoy your nap? No, I was working. Oh, right. Sorry. Did you enjoy your work you were doing? Yeah, I was working hard. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be so cute. I'm going to do like a mismatched one. I'm going to do some blood orange. I'm going to do some regular orange. We're just going to do everything. Gosh, this is so fun. I think I'm also possibly going to do maybe for like this window here that I'm facing. This is like the other window that faces our backyard. I'm thinking possibly I may do another method that i saw i think i showed it in my like inspo video during vlogmas day one but it's kind of like a string of like a curtain almost like those beaded curtains from the 90s but with the orange so like 
hanging vertically like this, like several of them. I'm not sure yet though. Maybe I'll do like a two-tiered orange one. Oh, do I really? Are you watching them on the camera? They did? I know, we need to find like a way to store those. Oh my God, you're funny. I was just watching, like it's the day I'm filming this is, oh, I think it'll be okay. My orange just snapped. The day I'm watching this is actually the first day of Vlogmas, like the first day that most people are posting their Vlogmas vlogs. And so I'm watching like all of my girlies, basically. I am obsessed with watching people who live in the Cotswolds, specifically, obviously. It's like my happy place, I love it so much. And I feel like I've gotten myself in a tricky place where I'm just like, I was sitting there like Googling flights, like do we do a Vlogmas full send and just go to England for a week before Christmas? I don't know, that sounds kind of crazy, but also kind of fun. I don't think I would actually do that, but um, you know, I never know. I know you would. Look how pretty it's looking. I love this. I love arts and crafts. Drew was also giving more ideas for decor. Like he was like, oh, we could do um, like a popcorn garland would be really fun. What else? Oh yeah, you could do like a cranberry. There's lots of different options. Who knows what we'll actually do. At this point, it's literally December 2nd when I'm filming this, so I don't know how much, like, I feel like we're gonna lose steam at some point and be like, okay, the decorating is over. But I'm just having so much fun doing it that like, I don't know, I kinda wanna do everything. We're taking advantage because this is probably gonna be our last Christmas in a house for a long time. <laughs> so like, I wanna enjoy it, you know? Okay, now I will tie a little loop on this side as well because we'll probably just use like command hooks or nails or something. And voila! This is the best. I'm so happy. I'm not gonna make you, oh my God. The amount of orange crap that's on me. I won't make you sit and watch me do like 10 more of these, but just picture it in your mind. Okay, I'll show you once it's all hung up. Yeah, it's pretty centered with uh, the window. How's that? Yep. Sure, cute. Love it. I kind of like that it's a little wonky. Gives it some interest. All right, now I've got my cardstock paper. Oh my God, it really kind of showed through, didn't it? And I just did a bunch of free-handed stars. They're obviously not perfect, but I think that that makes it cute and gives it character. So I'm gonna do a little star cutout garland. And I saw this on like TikTok or Pinterest or something. And you essentially just cut out your stars and then you make a slice down the middle and then you're just able to like slip it right on the twine like that. Now I'm just gonna cut out all the little stars out of this, which seems like it'll be pretty easy, but Nothing is easy with me, <laughs> so we'll see. There it is, my first little wonky star. And then you just go zoop, and then you just slide it right onto the twine, like that. That'll be really cute. Okay, so we tried it up here, it didn't look good. We tried hanging it individually right here, it didn't look good because the stars like keep flipping over. So for now, we're just putting it here. It's not exactly where we want it, but like it just adds a little sparkle, that's fun. We will figure out a better spot for it at a later date. But I think the last thing we're gonna do is potentially hang up those paper chains, or we may save that for the next vlog, I'm not sure, and then hang up these wreaths on the cabinets. I'm excited about those. So I'm gonna try to research on my phone how to like tie a bow and secure them, and then we're gonna do it. So in case you missed that vlog, um, we have these little wreaths, we have this ribbon, and we're gonna tie it all together somehow. Ah! wasn't recording, oopsies. But we're getting a head start on the wreaths. We're kind of just winging it. So basically, in case you're curious and wanna know how we did it, we tied a little knot at the end. We hung command hooks upside down on the inside of our cabinets, like towards the top. So we hook this and then it kind of goes over like that. 
goes over the cabinet like this and then we're hot gluing the ribbon to the wreath. This is my last one, I'll show you. So I'm flipping the wreath inside out. I'm wrapping it as close to the like base as possible so that it hangs like this, does that make sense? So I'm kind of like wrapping it around the opposite way. I'm securing it with some hot glue. I have burned myself approximately, how many are you? One, two, three, four, five, seven times. And then you just secure it on itself, pull it tight for a few seconds. And then you hang it up like so. Drew said that the fabric that we got, or the ribbon I mean, is so thin that he can just like stab it on the inside of the command hook to be whatever length we want. So that's quite nice. Cute! So now we have to make bows for all of them. I don't know how fancy they're gonna be, but that's okay. We'll do our best. Based off of our previous bows in the past, you know, I don't have high hopes. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of cute. Aww. Oh, can't see it. <laughs> that's gonna look cute. Oh. <laughs> you get the picture. I'm tired. So Christmassy. Yay! Turn my cute little lamp on. We still have the oven and the air fryer going with our last oranges. We'll make more garland, not in Vlogmas, but just, you get the picture. <laughs> but these look so cute. They really didn't take that long at all either. And I love the attention to detail. Drew added like the little, he like bumped their ends a little bit. Kind of cute. All right, here's what it's looking like in here. I'm really loving it, minus the mess on all the counters. Now we're doing the paper chains because it's just the last thing we have to do and honestly, we just want to full send it, you know? So, next like up. Something like this. Something like that. Fun! So we're taking off the loop, looping it around the light fixture, then restapling it. Genius. It's really cool. It looks like a school Christmas party and that is a vibe that I love. Okay, final reveal. Here it is in the living room. It's really fun. It looks like way cooler in person, but it still just gives that like extra, I don't know, fun, cozy vibe that I absolutely love. Like look how Christmassy it is in here. Amazing. Then you walk in here. Here's this long one. I love it. So now it is about like 5.30ish. I think we're gonna make dinner here in about like half an hour or so and just cozy up on the couch, chill, watch TV, enjoy all of this coziness. Like this is the best. So thank you so much for crafting with me today. I do feel like my brain is a little bit more calm and just less, I don't know, overstimulated from like the doom scrolling and all of that. So I highly recommend it um, if you're in need of like a little brain break, like a little brain wash, you know what I mean? It like cleanses your brain. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog and I will see you next time for vlogmas number four.